June is Pride Month, a time to honor and celebrate the LGBTQ community. But in San Francisco, some members of the LGBTQ community say they're worried that the Castro District is losing its prominence as the city's cultural center for gays and lesbians. As KTV's Christian Captain tells us, there are concerns that could only accelerate coming out of the pandemic. San Francisco's Castro District is a thriving neighborhood with clear cultural ties to the LGBTQ community. But longtime residents say the area is losing some of its LGBTQ members, making way for straight families. I like playing with the kids, you know, and darling, you know, chalk darlings on the sidewalks. It's just, but it's just, you know, I'm also looking around at my own friends and um, who, who are also gay, and that's like, and seeing they, they're getting, you know, leaving the neighborhood. What do we want? The Castro's roots with the gay rights movement began after World War II when working class families moved out and gay men moved in. The LGBTQ population continued to grow through the 1970s and into the 1980s when the AIDS crisis hit. Historian Terry Beswick from the GLBT Historical Society says as gay men died, non-gays began moving in. That displacement continued and accelerated over the decades as housing prices in the area increased. We've been seeing gayborhoods uh, uh, being lost in major cities all across the country for some time. And so, uh, so yes, the Castro um, as a gay identified neighborhood is definitely under threat. Beswick is worried that the Castro could diminish as a destination for LGBTQ youth as it was when he came to the city in the early 1980s. Other young people like me we were able to find a cheap place to stay. We were able to go to school, uh, become activists, uh, all on a salary of busing tables or what have you, you know. And uh, nowadays, you know, that's not really a possibility. Lyric is a nonprofit serving nearly 1,000 LGBTQ youth and only about 2% come from the Castro district. The organization says that means the Castro needs to be preserved as a safe place for LGBTQ youth. Well, I think it's important that young people still come to the Castro and, and see role models for what they could um, be as, a, as adults, as positive, healthy adults. The Castro LGBTQ Cultural District is dedicated to preserving the cultural identity of the neighborhood. Part of that means studying demographic trends, especially now as the pandemic draws to an end to get an idea of who's moving out and who's moving in. The data, it needs to get updated. Um, I, I, um, what I'm aware of is there were many evictions and many vacancies in the Castro in terms of businesses and residents. Supporters of keeping the Castro gay say bringing people together in one area is empowering economically and politically. Supervisor Raphael Mandelman says it's important to strike a balance between maintaining the Castro's cultural identity while welcoming non-gays and straight families. But I do believe that it is important to, to remember the history of the place, um, to be there for people who still need a gayborhood, uh, to meet people, to gather, to organize politically. The Castro LGBTQ Cultural District is working on conducting a study, trying to assess the neighborhood's needs around everything from arts and culture to land use and housing. That's an important first step, they say, in trying to preserve the neighborhood's culture. In San Francisco, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News.